What is up, everyone? Night Fury here from Tales of the Tome, and it is time. I believe today is the day we go and rescue Sabrina. I have missed her a lot, and I'm hoping that waiting for Raihan, who we just met at the behest of Nessa, to come and help us will have been worth the wait. Now, with all that in mind, it is still lunch time, and we still have some classes to get through. So, who to hang out with for lunch? Hmm. 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 Some of these are getting pretty low. Oh well. I think, uh. Hang on. You're the only one there. Interesting. Okay. The schemers. Yellow can tell you about Professor Cherry. I don't know what that means. Is that like... She tells us about people and that gives us points towards a person? Because last time I think it was... Something about Ethan or Blue or something? I don't know. Hmm. Wally, what are you doing at the romantic table? I just realized where you are. Ugh. Tutoring flying type. And the medical table, if it would ever come up. Um... Yeah, um, I think I'll, I'll hang out over here for today. I'll just join in the conversation, chat with people. Okay, now let's take a quick look at my traits and see where I'm at. Okay. Hmm. I could have gotten my bug up during that. Oh well. Uh, or my fairy. Fairy could have gone up. Oh well. Okay, ghost. And I believe my Pokemon ghosts need to battle and win a bit in order to level up. So... Oh! Isn't there... Aren't I supposed to get something once I hit level 20 in a proficiency? Maybe I need to go back to class in order to get it. So I'll go ghost, get that proficiency up as high as I can at least. Ethan, hiccup. Uh, general studies. <laughs> uh, hi. What is it, instructor? The spirit of the show again? No, not this time. I simply wish to tell you, you that you are doing well in my class. C'est un complimente. Compliment. So the oh ho 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 is excitement to see that my precious, I'm assuming that's precious, student is doing so well. Well, thanks. Guess I can't be too startled by excitement. Tell me, Monsieur Knight, are you familiar with the item, the, how do you say, spell tag? Yeah, I think. They raise the power of ghost type moves by 20%, right? That's a big percentage. Oui, in some region. But in Kobukan, it is seeming to be closer to 10%. Oh, well, that's fine too, I guess. If you take the exam of advancement and are passing, of course, then I will show you how to make them. They will give your ghosts a, a spooky boost. 
Great, I'm ready now. Then pick the Pokemon to push. Then pick the Pokemon you wish to put in the starting row. My lead actor will be of the ghost type. Bien sûr. Uh, then I guess... Let me see here. Action. Hmm. I don't have anything that's inherently good against Ghost. But... Optimus is immune to Ghost type moves and he knows Pursuit. I'm gonna save really quick, just in case. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's... Oh, yes. I need to actually pick. I'll do Optimus, just to see how this goes. Let's a cut and rise! Alright, show me what you got, Teach. Alright, straight ghost. So let's do some Fury Swipes. Or Pursuit. Mm hmm. Hang on. Hang on. I thought. Aren't fighting types immune to ghost? Or at least they were last I checked. Maybe it's something that's not in the newer generations. Hmm. That, I feel like that shouldn't have been the case. Ah, a letdown? But no matter, we will not let this dampen our spirits, no. Come back for an encore after you have rehearsed. Damn, that was an embarrassing loss. Still, at least I learned something. Yeah, yeah. Fighting types apparently are not immune to ghost-type moves. Unless I'm... Unless the game's mistaken, maybe. Before you know it, class is over. Bonds increased. Ghost proficiency, 23. So the Emperor created the position of champion, such that if his political power ever waned, an evil man ever attempted to grasp at power, the inherent goodness... And evil men ever attempted to grasp at power, the inherent goodness of Pokemon would always come to Kanto's defense. Are we seriously meant to believe that Pokemon are pure good? That seems naive. Well, in all of our recorded history, we've no solid proof of a Pokemon willingly performing a cruel act without coercion. That's not to say that Pokemon are harmless, of course. Everyone knows you should never walk out into tall grass without a Pokemon. But, even though Pokemon have been known to rampage, sometimes with disastrous results, a Pokemon under complete control of its mental faculties never attacks without reason. But, perhaps that's a level of pedantry that we don't... that we need not get into right now. If a wild Pokemon attacks you, rely on your po own Pokemon to defend yourself, not their inherent goodness, but do keep it in mind. Now, let's see. Uh, ah, yes, it's about time for our test, isn't it? This test won't introduce any new concepts. All I ask is that you defeat your opponent. The opponent Gardevoir only knows Psychic. The opponent Meganium only knows Giga Drain. And the opponent Dugtrio only knows Stomping Tantrum. Finally, in this test, you will be able to gain experience. That may be relevant. Take out your pencils and remember... This is graded! Okay. Okay, they're all at low health, 20 levels higher, speed is the least it could possibly go down. Trace the ability battle armor. I don't know what that means. No, oh, let me. 
I want to at least look at my... Oh, fine. I, I didn't even care. Okay. Okay, so I don't have anything that can do multiple hits. All my attacks are 100% accuracy. Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to do... Crunch on Gardevoir. It's gone. Good. S wants to learn Scary Face, but Scroopy only knows four moves. What does Scary Face do? Sharply lowers speed. Well, that's not going to do me any good. At least not in this particular fight. Switch out acupressure. What? Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know you could evolve in the middle of a fight. Huh. Fascinating. Hmm. Because of the difficult battles, your team gave me experience. I think we might be hitting the point where there's these tests aren't quite as easy as they seemed. Okay, yeah. At a glance. Well, at a glance, actually, it looks like a lot of you are struggling. I thought the concepts were simple enough, but perhaps... Hmm. Though he's up at the front of the classroom, you can tell Professor Oak looks concerned. Well, that seems to be the bell. Perhaps I should... Perhaps. Professor Oak seems troubled. You consider going after him, but... Hey, going to battle Raihan? Raihan? The 8th gym leader of Galar? Strongest member of the Galarian League aside from Leon? Uh... Yeah, in his exact words, actually. Uh, he showed up in the garden at lunch today. Jumped off a flygon. Landed on me, actually. Getting real sick of random powerful people and things falling out of the sky into your lap. Oh, f*** <laughs> off. Yeah, he was kneeling on my... Cr I didn't need to know that, Hiccup. I really didn't need to know that. Thank you, Blue, for at least siding with me on that. So, are... where? Huh? Where are you battling? The battle hall? Yeah, in a couple minutes. What do you think that was about? Oh, he probably just wants to watch you battle. Anything to get more information on you, you know? Sometimes I think he wouldn't mind being the second weakest trainer in the world as long as you were the weakest. Man, you're right. All right, I'm going to go to the dorm to get changed, then to the battle hall. Want to come with? Sorry, I'm going to go meet up with Tia. She's gotten better since her stay in the infirmary, but she's still a bit slow. I'm helping her catch up on her lessons. Hey, that was nice of you. But shouldn't you be worried about your own academics most? I mean, you skipped class to grab me, then you took Monday off to look for her. Not to mention you're going to start taking normal classes. Aren't you worried you'll fall behind? Nah, not really. And talk to you later. She seems very cavalier about missing school, huh? Oh, boy. Hmm, what's that noise? You walk into the battle hall. Though still largely empty, a small crowd has gathered around Raihan. He's busy flexing and bragging to the crowd. A familiar-looking woman stands at the front of the crowd, her confidence in front of this famous trainer at odds with her unassuming clothing and posture. 
Okay. <clears throat> Ready to see me roar? Hell yeah! Well, you're in luck, because in just a few minutes you're going to get to see how great the mighty Rhyhorn battles. That's so cool. I'm a big fan of yours, but I read all your fo roto fo I read all your roto photo stories, and you didn't say anything about coming here. Well, I've got to leave some things as a surprise for the fans, don't I? Besides, I'm not one of those obnoxious influencers who want all their fans to know where they are 100% of the time. I'd settle for just 95. Wow, really? I... Some people I know try to get, get away from their fans. What? Man, why would I do that? If they care about me enough to want to know where I am or what I'm doing, then of course I'm going to be open with them. Besides, when I finally beat Leon, I want the whole world to be watching. That means you got to start gathering the fans early. That's a very cool way of thinking about it. I guess there really is more to you than an 8-pack and muscle cars, huh, Raihan? Of course there is, love. Yeah, I own Pride's Pariah, you know? I don't know what that is. I mean, I haven't read it, but I do have it. It's a signed copy, too. Hey! Hi, Knight! Pikachu Wilder, ready to get this started. Shouldn't we wait for Dean Drain to arrive? Oh, right, I guess so. Uh, who's your friend? Oh, right, I don't think I got your name. Lay it on me. Liz. Nice to meet you. Okay, it's extremely obvious that this is Lysia, but if she doesn't want to be recognized out of her role as an announcer, I'm not going to blow this for her. Oh, wait, Raihan, you said Pikachu Wilder, right? I thought I recognized you. You're the student who fought Dawn last Friday, right? Yep. And you're the one who announced it. Well, I'm in the coordinator club. Dawn's been talking about you a lot. Fair warning, is she might try to recruit you. Well, I'm a bit busy with the Kobukon battle team, but I might drop in. I heard the new instructor for the coordinator club is pretty great. Wink, wink. Oh, you... Uh, don't do that. If you know who I am, just say it. Sorry, Liz, that's not my job. Feel like I'm uh, missing something here. Nah, it's nothing serious. Let's just, uh, hmm? Hello. Seems you've gathered a bit of an audience already. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I just seem to gather fans wherever I go. We're all alone like little grains of sand. But my fans have built these sands up into a mighty gale. And the desert winds, well, they blow down anyone who stands in my way. Hmm, this may prove complicated. This was actually pretty cunning. By getting the crowd hyped up and on his side, Drayden will have a harder time rejecting him. I guess, as an influencer, he knows the power of popular opinion. Pretty sneaky. The Des has got all kinds of tricks. Forgive me for speaking out of turn, but... Do you not come from Hammerlock, a city surrounded by lush green fields, swampy marshland, and an average rainfall of 23 inches per year? Your numerous references to the desert seem out of place. It's a, a branding thing, really. I suppose I still don't understand. Students, if you are not part of this battle, please make your way to the bleachers. Very well. You may begin at your leisure. Terms, rules, restraints, you may decide these freely between yourselves. Nate, I'm gonna let I'm gonna be real with you, not we can do ha this however you want. I've got my preferences, of course, but hey, I'm the Grey Rihon, and only Leon beats me. Even if I'm using three newly caught Pokemon. Alright, but just to be certain, you aren't gonna pull out a Pokemon that's like a dozen levels higher than anything I could reasonably have at this time, right? What? Nah, of course not. What kind of dick would do that? That was uncalled for! Something to win? Alright, so what are you thinking, Knight? Have you got a taste? Mm. Hmm. I don't tend to do very well in triple battles. 
Just want to switch some guys around really quick. Let's do a double battle. Now you're speaking my language. I, Drayden, will referee. Remember, both of you, your interest is to win. Please do your best. <clears throat> Cyclozar floats with its air balloon. Okay, so a dragon and... I assume that's also dragon. But it's also ground. So let's... Razor Leaf. Nice. Ooh, shoot. Okay. Let's try Optimus. Deathless. Okay. Now let's get Ghost Light out here. Nightshade on Cyclozar. Use Razor Leaf. Please hit. Yes! Haha! <laughs> nice. Oh, another rock type? Well, this is going to be easy. All right, there we go. Flame burst, yes, finally, a good fire move. Okay, let's see, really quick. May also injure nearby Pokemon. Okay, good to know. Um, it, let's see, 70 power, limit of 80, 100% accuracy. I don't know what that limit means. Maybe it's, it, it might be tied to, um, liberation limit, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, okay, so this might burn an opponent, but this does for sure, so I'm going to get rid of Ember. Nice. Nice battle. Nice battle. That's all. You won fair and square, mate. You made the right moves. I made the wrong ones. That's not totally fair to you. You were using new Pokemon. Nah, there was a way I could have won that. Same as you won't we won't be seeing much of each other after all. Hope you drop by Galar sometime though. I'd love a rematch in a couple of years. You're giving up that easily? I don't like it, but taking a loss to the chin is nothing new to me. You can complain all you want that the wind didn't blow you away, but if you do that, people blow you off. Only when you accept your losses can you move past them. Yeah, pay the f attention, Blue. Besides, what would the fan gang think if any video of me whining about it got onto the internet? They'd think I'm a right poser and I'd have to agree with them. A dragon only roars louder after a defeat. That's the way it is. Besides, I got to battle night and got to talk to Sunny and Ness. From here, I'm from where I'm standing, I feel like I got everything I wanted done. Don't worry about our dear Dredden. I'll tell the big man Rose that everything you're doing here is on the up and up. There is no entrance exam. Yeah, I knew. Ness told me. But I knew even in the garden. I've got a hard head, not a thick one. So you correctly interpreted this as a test of character. Seems like it. This speech, then, was it to appeal to the hidden criteria you were aware existed? I'd like you to believe that's just who I am as a person. I sensed words spoken from the heart, but at the same time you used the crowd and your leverage on Rose as an advantage over me. You put on the airs of a force from the desert, yet you fail... Yet you hail from Hammerlock. You speak of humility and accepting losses with grace and dignity, but title yourself the Great Ryan and continue challenging your greatest rival over and over. You are quite a study in contradiction, Master Ryan. 
Sand that settles becomes rock, and some geologist slaps a name on it, and everyone thinks they know everything there is to know about it. Gotta keep shifting to keep people interested. That's not how rocks work. Rocks are eroded by wind or water, then become sand. Can a point? Sandstone. I don't know enough about geology to dispute this. So, what's the decree, Dean? Am I at your feet here? No, I am at your feet here. I don't usually beg, but I'll give it a fair shot. You are permitted to join as a provisional student. Given your experience and fame in Galar, a lot will be expected of you from your classmates and instructors. Please set a good example. Always do. Just check my rota photos. I'm squeaky clean. Oh, that reminds me. Night, victory selfie. Sure, why not? That's a good one. Aye, that was a good battle. But we're not through yet. When you have the time, I need to know more about that Pikachu of yours. I've got a feeling, caught a whisper on the wind, that that Pikachu might be the key to defeating Leon, the King of Champions. Pika. Oh yeah, Pikachu's into it now. Seems like the little guy agrees. Thank you for your aid in this matter, Mr. Knight. You are free to go. Anytime. Um, are there any scholarships for, like, uh, say, helpfulness? No. Right, just thought I'd check. Knowing that... <sighs> unfortunately, Optimus is not good against ghost types. I think I need to switch her, her out. So I'm going to head to the city and do that. Get my team prepped for Operation Rescue Sabrina. Alright, let's see here. Okay, Optimus goes back in. Okay. Um, what do you know? Not enough for me to feel good about it. Okay, cool. Let's see. Could try Leshy or Tarantulas. Let's go with... Even though he's not as high a level as I want, Tarantulas is probably my best bet. Yeah. Shockjaw started coughing something. What? Oh. Your blonde. My blonde with Dawn. <laughs> Your bond with Dawn earned you the Swablu, Nine Tails, and. Cryogonal forever all. Wait, when did I get to level three with her? Don. Uh, oh, I'll take it. Yellow is overjoyed. Is she watching me? Am I being stalked? What is happening? All right, I think this is it. I think this is probably my best chance. All right, now, I think I'm gonna keep Pikachu as electric just so I have something that's not purely ghost. And with confusion and sing, Actually, can I learn any fairy moves? Let's take a quick look. Ah, fairy wind. Let's do that. That sounds like a good idea. Because that will be good if I encounter any dark types.
All moves equalized. Okay, let's check your liberation limit. It's 170, so that means I've got like... I could take out Fairy Wind and that would give me... Let's see. If I take out Fairy Wind, that's 40, so 130. Uh, let's round that to a 210. About 80. Okay. Let's see if there's anything I can do for 80. Thunderfang could be good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Discards a dark type move. Could try that. Um, I think I'll do Thunderfang. Yeah. And I'll get rid of, what was it, Sing? Uh, um, actually. Let's switch out Nuzzle for Thunderfang. Okay, yeah, that looks better. All right, I think that's a good place for that. Rescue Sabrina. Okay, I think now is a good time for us to try. <sighs> and I think we're in the best spot we could possibly be in. Time to rescue our girl. Okay, are we all ready? Not so fast. Sonia, what did you what did your survey say? Looks like this part of the forest is called the windswept woods. The especially tall trees cause wicked air currents up top. The flying types make this place their own, in addition to the expected grass types. Huh? We stick the place out to figure out what kind of wild Pokemon we might find. Honestly, Rosa, you could stand to think ahead a bit. There's no stunt double to take your place. No reshoots on this stage if anything goes wrong. I'm... Yeah, you're right. You're doing the right thing. Let's just do it smartly. We don't need to do this smartly, guys. You've got the great Rye on here. Our rock types will make these flying types embarrassed to have wings. Alright, ick up. If you've got forever oars that give Shockjaw the ice type, you now might be the good time to use them. Right. Uh, I unfortunately don't think I have enough. Because let's see. Let's try powdered so snow just to see what it is. Okay, so powdered snow, 40, may freeze, 100% accuracy. Versus, you know what? 40% power, uses attack first. Let's try quick attack. Forgot. Shock jaw is overthrowing with power. The shock jaw is now 9 over the limit. Alright, I guess we're getting rid of Sing. Is there anything less than 40? No, there is not. Cool. So close. I could have had all four moves. Alright. Um, I suppose this will have to be good for now. Or perhaps electric or rock or flying or fire. Hmm. 
You know, you could have led with that instead of starting with a very specific type. I think I'm just going to switch back. Yeah. Where is it? Sing. Sing. There you are. Use on shock jaw. Teach sing. Get rid of powder snow. And what was the other one I had before? Let's see. Quick attack. Right. Which was a regular move that he just learned on his own. Okay, so we're looking at about 50. I can add something a little higher than 40 if we've got a 50 in here. Aquajet. Aquajet. Okay. I already know Fairy Wind. Unless there's anything higher in the fairy. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Um. What do I have again? Fairy Wind, Thunderfang, Sing. Okay, if it doesn't work out the first time, I think I'll switch out Sing for a ice move. So... All right, we're totally going to write a story here, a real adventure. This had all sorted itself out in the end, but why wait? Hiccup, reckon you could use Shockjaw in battle a good bit? I'd like to get, I'd like to get some more data on him. Second that, I'd like to see what the Slayer of Joe Bird can do up close. Maybe don't call Don's Altaria that anymore. Okay, okay. Oh, I can do special attacks now. Cool. All right. But let's actually first take out this Paris. That's right, Paris. Die. Kill it with fire! Alright, let's do you, since you were just right there. Now your team is looking pretty good. Alright! Sweet. What is that down there? Alright, I think I can hit it from here, so I might as well. Die! Wait, why is this? Oh, right. That was a dumb move. Please don't... Hmm. Sorry, I can't stick around here anymore. It's too dangerous. You go on ahead. I'll follow behind. <sighs> she was not kidding when she said she was going to not be good here. Okay. Can...
Okay, maybe not. Get out of here, you dumb Pokemon. I think I can attack it from here, right? Die! What's this? A mossy stone. It sits patiently on the ground, but is too large to pick up. Um, okay. Don't know what that means, but sure. Let's see what you can do. I would like to at least look at my Pokemon and see what they are. Okay, Trap Pinch is a ground type, and ground type moves are not good against flying. Okay. We'll do Rock Slide and Breaking Swipe. Hey, that works. I'm gonna die. That's it. No, no, we are not doing that. We're going back. And we're gonna do better this time. Again. Once more into the breach, as they say. Like Loki fighting the threads of fate. Like the Batman's crusade against crime. And I fear you would soon realize just how futile such an endeavor can truly feel. But heroes are not forged in times of peace, but the fires of war. Is, is there a way to just skip? Can I skip this? Please? Or I could, you know, completely screw up by doing that. Let's try again. <laughs> no more, please. Just stop. I'm gonna die again. Again, 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 again. I hate this. I hate this. It's like you're dead weight. Why are you weak to literally everything in there? Can I hit it from here? At least? No, I can't. Get out of here, you stupid bird. Mm. It had to be a damn Paris, didn't it? Just piss off. Again. And this time, we're not doing electric. Because the flying types are not what's killing me. It is the f Paris and the Hoppet. You. Paris are literally the bane of my existence. Please let this be the last. Why is there more? Finally! Finally! We're free! Oh my gosh. That only took an hour and a half to do. Oh man! We're through! I'd rather spend seven months shooting in the jungles of Fior than do that again. No kidding, I am completely there with you. But it's chilly. Are you two seriously whining about this? It was just a short hike. Okay, you have no reason to complain. You went down like a sack of potatoes, all right? <sighs> Whatever, I don't care. Speak for yourself. I'm used to having my air-conditioned trailer whenever I'm within 50 feet of a tree. What a surprise. You're more of a princess than I thought. All right. I was going to give you the benefit of the doubt earlier, you know, because you were being cool and helpful, 
But now you're like being catty again, and I hate that. P princess, why? I never. Help. You well, heard that, right? Yeah, that was definitely Sabrina. Australian, Australian. Might, might, might. So this girl, you called... This is the girl who called me to help. All right. There. Sabrina! She looks different. Did you do something new with your hair? Hey, I'm suddenly a lot more into this rescue mission, if you know what I'm saying, eh? Eh? Now's not the time for jokes. We have to save her. Granted, but from what? She looks fine, if a bit exposed. You're seeing that, Ness? It's my choice. I just want to make sure that was hers. Sabrina! We come for. What? What are you coming for? A great treasure. Us. Coming for. Our treasure. This... This isn't her. Something's controlling her. I reckoned. We might need to prepare for a nasty fight then. Please tell me I can save. Please, 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 please tell me I can save. Thank you. I don't want to have to go through the dungeon again. Thank you. Okay, we'll call this Sabrina. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. I'm sorry, I can't. My party was wiped out in the forest. Wait, there's more than three of us. We'll probably get in each other's way if we all fight at once. Someone should step out. She, she's coming fast, Kip. What's the script? Uh... I'ma say... Rosa. Exit. Stage left. Your accuracy increased. Sabrina's emotions fluctuate through everyone's minds. Her Pokemon become moody. I see your Abra has evolved. Alright. have any bug moves besides crystallize so let's get these guys slowed down a bit and use fire fang on mischievous we come for okay mr Vuce used perish song on literally everyone uh, okay, that's cool, I guess. Alright, Cadabra's gone. Good. Esper. A great treasure. Us. Coming for our treasure. Clad what? Man car hook door? Alright, I'm gonna switch out for Mozart here. What do you have? Snowballs. All 
Alright, we'll just have you hold on in case it uses Parish Song again. Come on, Sabrina. <laughs> Sabrina? <laughs> She's snapping out of it! Where? Ugh, my head. Ow. Ow. Sabrina, you're safe now. We came here to get you back. Get... get me back? What do you... No, I came out here on purpose. This... this was all part of the plan, but then... Uh, he headaches and... Uh, I was attacked, but... The plan... Was being out here for almost a week part of your plan? What have you been eating? I... I... Wait, Rihan? Mate, mate. Hey, another fan. Yeah, it's Rihan. You one of the fan gang? I follow your Roto photo stories. Sabrina, don't blow up his head any more than it already is, okay? I need you to think back. What do you remember? I don't remember. I remember the yelling... And the anger. And I'm running out here and... Nothing. Wait, Hiccup? About time you noticed. Just because I'm not a supermodel doesn't mean I'm not here. I... I thought you were leaving. I read. I heard. Yeah, I did leave and then I came back. What'd I say? You can't trust people's thoughts. I'm... Glad. Hold on, we've got something serious to discuss before we, we take one step further, Sabrina. I... I know. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to reveal everyone's secrets. I shouldn't have snapped it. Where did you get that adorable tank top? Huh? Seriously, a crop tank top with low-rise jeans? That's fashion, if I've ever seen it. You're more daring than I thought. I... it's just... A grocery store? Hold on, you're telling me that you picked out that cute outfit at the grocery store? What could you do in an actual clothing store? I don't know, but I want to find out. Sounds like a trip to Forever 151 is in order. I can't buy anything, but I can lend an eye and... No. No, you don't understand. I'm a witch. A curse! I'll only hurt you if you try to get closer to me. I'll expose everything about you. Sabrina. Yeah, you exposed me. But it wasn't your fault. And in the long run, I think you did me a favor. Sabrina, you know what my darkest secret is? Yes. And so does everyone else. It's literally on every single one of my wiki pages. I've made a couple of mistakes, most of them involving Raihan, and he told everyone. He didn't even have Esper powers as an excuse. Guilty is charged. Not proud of it, though. I just have well, trouble keeping my mouth shut when something great happens, you know? I'm not quite sure if I've 
anything like a secret, but well, I reckon I've already done the most embarrassing thing that could happen to me this year, what with begging Janine to let me back into the battle team. I... maybe then... but... Come on, you don't need to make a decision right now. The thing we need to do is get you back to the school. Ray, could you give her a hand? Sure, but I don't know. Not maybe I'm being presumptuous, but I get the feeling you'd rather do it yourself. I I can walk by myself. You don't need to though. No. No? They, those students, they targeted me because of you. Steady on, Sabrina. That wasn't his fault. I know. It wasn't anyone's fault but my own. But I, I, I told you to stay away from me the very first time we met. That was all I asked for. Why? Why didn't you? I think we all know the answer to that. She did. Didn't she? I... I guess I thought I could make you happier than leaving you alone would make you. I understand you're upset, Sabrina. Hiccup does too. Doesn't t Don't take it out on him. You two were friends, right? You told me about him in our classes together. I didn't think through the consequences. I thought... I thought I knew what kinds of heartbreak the future held. I couldn't have predicted this. As much as I blame Sharon and the Ace Trainers, Ultimately, it was my fault. I'm sorry, Sabrina. You were right. I should have listened, but now the damage has been done, and... I don't want to stop being friends with you. Have you considered what I want? Do you want to stop being friends? No. Maybe. I don't... I don't know. I just need... I need space and time. Your heart shifts as you feel your relationship with Sabrina evolve from friend to question mark. I think we could all do with some space and some time. Let's head back to the campus grounds, all right? All right. And I don't want to seem ungrateful. You have been through a lot. Anyone would get it. I'm sure I'd feel the same. I just joined up to help a friend. I'm not really sure what your deal is, but we've got no beef. I don't expect any thanks, just doing what I do. I... I really am. I... Hey, it's alright. We understand. Yeah! <laughs> Oh man, I can't believe we pulled that off. This was so risky, but so exciting, but so dangerous, but so fun. This could be a new movie. I... Ugh, I'm going to feel that in the morning. Guess one of them got a lucky blow on me. The important thing is that we succeeded. Worst for way or not, we set up a plan and we sought through. Not quitting midway. Kinda reminds you of the Galarian stars, Ness. Hmm. So, uh, I'm glad I got to be part of this wicked adventure and all. Really does remind me of the Galarian stars. And how we all were in the beginning. But, could someone explain what this was all about? Who are you, Sabrina? Why'd you run out here and what did you mean exposing secrets? I kind of got the idea that you're mental, but... Uh, Ixnay on the Entelme, they call them espers in this region. Okay, context? Ugh, where do we start? 
Everyone makes their way back to the infirmary, battered and bruised. You arrive, hopefully, for the third and final time at the infirmary. Oh! Sabrina, I'm glad you're safe. Please, lie down in this bed here. I thank you, Five. It means... It means so much to me. I... Aw, Sabrina, it was the right thing to do. Don't worry about it. Right? It was only proper. I don't like seeing people trapped. You could call it selfishness. I uh, still don't really get what's going on here. Or what you were doing. Why you were doing it, but I get it was the right thing to do. I... I must tell you that... There'll be plenty of time for telling your friends whatever you wish after you've rested. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, but the infirmary has a strict one visitor, blah, blah, blah. Everyone walk away so I can talk to Hiccup. Sure. Of course, we need to fix, find our next mission after all. Oh no, no more missions. We did your thing, Rosa. Now I'm going to teach you how to chill out. Okay? Come on, you know it was fun, right, Ness? I'm not denying that, Sonny, but Sabrina needs calm. And that means no shenanigans for, like, at least a week. At least. Oh, okay. After that, though, I got a couple of really great shenanigans in mind. I've got enough footage from all that to make a little documentary anyway, so that could be fun. Wait, you were recording all that? Oh, <laughs> your companions leave the room. Hi, Miss Miriam. Guess who's back? Back again. I really hope you're not planning on making a routine of this, young man. As long as there are people who need to be rescued, I'm planning on it. Yeah. Well, you know the routine by now. Can you describe the nature of the injuries the patient sustained? Same stuff as last time, a few bumps and scrapes, but also confusion, disorientation, headaches. Hmm. Any ideas, Nurse Miriam? I mentioned before I was very, fairly confident that my patients had been hypnotized, yes? I'm beyond certain of it now. It seemed whatever was out there in the forest wanted them to fulfill some purpose. I don't believe it ever wanted to hurt them, as they seem to have been entirely under its control. It wanted to keep them, then, but not hurt them. Whoever, or whatever, is out there, perhaps it's confused and wanted them to deliver some sort of message. Maybe that's what was behind their garbled speech. Hmm. Is there any chance they're still hypnotized? No, not at all. A person who is currently under the effects of hypnosis cannot be hypnotized again. My hypnotherapy treatments worked on the other two, so they're definitely free now. That's a relief. Well, I'm sure after a nice long nap, Sabrina will be right as rain, and it sounds like she's developed a good support network to rely on. Actually, I'm pretty sure Sabrina didn't know any of these girls before today. Maybe Rosa, barely. Poor girl. She's gone through so much hardship already, and all because of these powers of hers. Thank you for everything you've done. I shudder to imagine what would have happened to these poor people if you hadn't rescued them. Hey, it was a group effort every time. I'm just glad to help. I won't be forgetting this. I don't mean to pry, but do you have any interest in the nursing course? Sounds great, Miss Miriam, but I don't think it's for me. Perhaps it's embarrassing at this point, but I don't believe I ever caught your name. Huh? Yeah, I guess you never asked. It's Hiccup. Hiccup Knight. Oh, you're Hiccup? Yep, the one who, well... You know, <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. What you went through was grossly unfair. If people knew just how much variance there were in your, our bodies, they wouldn't think powers like yours to be strange at all. Well, that was half of it. I also tried to hide it, but I moved past that, and other people are starting to, too. This isn't the worst thing in the world. Well, my offer from before still stands. If you ever need to talk... I'm here, unqualified as I am. After seeing how you take care of Grusha, Jasmine, and my other classmates, I'm pretty sure you're qualified for anything. Hmm? Dilated capillaries on the cheeks? A higher heart rate? Oh, you! This must be your frenergy at work! 
go off now. I have patients who require my attention. Sure thing, Miss Miriam. Thank you for taking care of my friends. And with that, we are finally back to some sense of normalcy. I wasn't planning on getting trapped in the dungeon as long as I did. I was definitely going to stick it out to make sure that Sabrina got safely home. I got stuck in the forest dungeon to save Sabrina for like almost two hours. That was... That was rough. That wasn't hard. That was hell. I hope the dungeons get more balanced in the future. But for now, we just saved Sabrina. She's back at school. Um, has a pretty good support network starting up. And we met Raihan, who's actually a pretty cool dude. We're going to try to go through... And finish off week six, hopefully in this episode, maybe in the next one, but we'll find out. As I wake up from bed, oh, who, who is there? Um, it's me, Yellow. Oh, hey, hey, uh, what's up? Have you, have you seen my shirt? I, I swear I put one on before bed. And, uh, uh, the quarter class rankings are out. I thought you might be interested in seeing them. Oh, yeah, sure. Give me, give me a sec. Blah. Ah. Ah. Okay. Where's everyone else? Blue and Leaf headed out to the battle hall earlier. Ethan's still asleep. Huh. Well, he's got some time before classes begin. Let's let him sleep. Anyway, you said the QQ rankings were out. Yep, hung up by the homerooms. Cool, let's check them out. Night hiccup. Someone took my face. That's not great, but look at the winner's sheet. Huh? I took the number one spot? The spot you take is relative to the strength of the trainers you beat. Since you beat a trainer that was projected to go much, much further than you, you earned a ton of points. Awesome! Oh, but wait, that means you look at the bottom right of the runners-up sheet, as predicted. Burlitz D is there. Oops. Sorry, Don. Looking over the sheets, you're not overly surprised by any of the results. It seems that almost everyone you know made it through. That's to be expected for a Kobukon student, though, I guess. There are a few notable exceptions. Yellow and Don did not pass, as you were aware. However, neither did Nate or Serena. That's odd. I've battled both of them, and they seem tough enough. I wonder what... Well, I suppose I can ask later. Well, that's pretty much it. Sorry about, um, your face... Eh, people will forget eventually. I just have to wait it out. Patience increased to 12. That's a good idea. Hiccup, do you, um... Do you remember me? No, I don't think so. As far as I know, we met in the garden last Wednesday. Hmm. But you are Hiccup from Pallet Town, right? And you used to go by Hiccup Sugimori. Far as I know, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. Okay. Maybe we should talk about this sometime. Sure, how is tomorrow? Blue and I are going on a picnic, but perhaps in the afternoon. No way, you and him? A picnic? How does that go down? Does he get in a fight with other campers over the best picnicking spot? Sometimes. I'm trying to avoid that this time, though. So, I'm in charge of the picnic and finding the spot. I'm thinking somewhere shady. Maybe near a river would be nice. The devil works hard, but yellow works harder. Alright, sounds good. Want to get some breakfast before class? Sure. Alright. Alright. 
Okay. Now. <sighs> Let's try and beat Ghost Class again. This time without the... I'm sorry, I got distracted by Sabrina. <laughs> um, without the fighting type to screw me over. Let's actually take a quick look at my socials. Oh wow, there's a lot, a lot to do. Okay. Um, I thought I wasn't gonna get a scene with her till level four. Huh, weird. Oh, well, I'm not going to complain. All right, I'm going to do ghost class. Hey, Ethan. Hiccup, good to see you. Let's get this done. General studies. Fantina, I've brushed up on the script since last time, and I'm ready for an encore. Then pick the Pokemon you wish to put in the starting role. My lead actor will be the, the ghost, Bonsio. Then I will pick... Okay, if it's ghost type, ghosts are super effective against each other. Let's try Mozart, actually. Since he's also a normal type. Let the curtain rise! All right, let's do this. It's a mischievous, if I remember. So I just got a... Oh! It's not very effective. Damn it. Let's try sing. Or I could just die, you know, that's cool too. Yeah, okay, well. <sighs> ah, a letdown. But no matter, we will not let this dampen our spirits, no? Come back for an encore after you have rest. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, maybe I'm not as good at Pokemon as I thought. I don't exactly have a dark type or anything, so yeah. Class is over. Everyone gets goodness. As everyone prepares to leave, the intercom system comes on. This is Dean Druden. Don't go out into the forest. You'll be expelled. Have a nice day. And that's the end of the lecture. Personally, I think the practical experience of a battle is worth a half a dozen lectures, but we have to get through them. You know how it is. Hmm, battle training only reinforces what the lecturer imparts. If there was one aspect to forego, it would be battles. Bruno once again proving that trainers don't need to see eye to eye on everything to get along. <laughs> I don't, I don't agree with that. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, but on a serious note. Bruno, I've heard your lectures, and they're drier than a crocodile's backside. I was not aware of one's ability to moisten one's speech made any one made one any more of efficacious as an instructor. You'd be surprised. Anyway, let's move on to the battles. Hiccup, it's time for your rematch with Whitney. I trust this will be a more honorable battle than last time, young lady. Ah, uh, yes, instructor. Good. Hiccup, just because you helped me find Tia, don't think I'm going to go easy on you. Wouldn't dream of it. I'm going all out this time. No sandbagging, no tricks. Just me and 160 pounds of cow on your face. You're going to sit on me? You jerk! Milty, make him pay for that! Oh, 
Oh, that just goes to show that I guess it's not a funny joke. Anyway, let's... Let's do string shot these guys. Do razor leaf and let's do flame burst on sunny side. on Melty. Doctor, doctor, help me. Alright. Let's switch out Bodica for... Let's try Mozart. Use Razor Leaf again, since that seems to be culling the herd. And let's use... Okay, Ghost Moves aren't effective on normal types. Right. Guess we're stuck using Flame Burst. Simple World, what does that do? All right. Let's use Struggle Bug. Razor Leaf again. Might as well, since it's super powered. on this guy, just to get rid of him. Alright, that's what I like to see. I... I lost! I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry! Well, well fought, or whatever I should say. Well, she's not the most gracious loser. Of course, she wasn't the most gracious winner, either. And that'll be all for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Lunch. Still here? Thought he would have left by now. Just ignore him. I heard he told a Ninetales to attack the skull. Stole a Larvesta? I beg your pardon? Perhaps you'd like to whisper those dark words a bit louder? God, don't make a thing of it, Colossian. Come on, lads. Because, you know, reprobates say lads. Thanks, Serena. It's only the right thing to do. I suppose you've been handling a lot of that recently. I wouldn't exactly call it handling it, but... Yeah, I've been hearing it a lot. I suppose it is some relief, then, that your power is not as strong as you may have feared. A little bit, yeah. Well, though I never had an ex need an excuse to enjoy your company, I did come over here with an objective. I'm not surprised. You're, you've always got one mission or another you're on. I'm pretty impressed by how clearly you can see the path. Ah. Uh. Uh, did I say something weird? Uh, well, you remember our conspiracy. Sure, make sure Caleb stays single. Very easy, very possible, despite how handsome he is. What about it? I need the opposite of that, actually. What? 
I'm am trying to get Calum to be with someone else. So, wait, are you dating? No, no, we're just rooming together. So, what triggered this? I mean, this is a complete 360 from where you were before. You mean a 180. And, well, it's difficult to describe, but, um... I thought you wanted to date him. Or was I misunderstanding that? I did. I, I thought I did. But then I moved in with him and everything has become so much more difficult. And I don't know if that is to say I'm unsure if... I mean, uh, it would be easier if he were not single since in regards to... What's the problem? It looks like she's trying to say something she doesn't know how to say. Is the sex bad? Oh, whatever. Listen up, Hiccup. We, we all, we all need to get that boy hitched to some other chick or man. It don't matter. Before I have a nervous breakdown. He's too damn kind. He he didn't even mention the fact I've been lying to his face for ages. Apologies. Nah, I get where you're coming from now. But uh, one question: What exactly does Caleb want out of this? I honestly have no idea. Okay, I realize I'm being a bit of a hypocrite here, given the whole frenergy thing, but this school desperately, desperately needs a class on communication. Alright, so, the conspiracy's going in the opposite direction now. Fine. We're trying to get Caleb together with someone else. Do you have any candidates in mind? Yes, but perhaps we should discuss this another time less publicly. I'm worried we might be attracting undue attention. Alright, talk to you later then. <sighs> For the love of fact, just talk to the boy. Like, that's the one thing neither of you are doing is talking to each other, and it's pissing me off. Anyway, who do I want to hang out with today? I've got a... I don't like that face. But whatever. Sharon can go suck an egg. The famous table. Let's see. I'm going to take a look at moods really quick. Come on. All right. Okay, so these moods are pretty high up already. For a level 4 scene with Rose, I need 10 Courage, which I have. Tia's scene. See, for Sonia, I need to have rank 2 with Nessa. Sabrina, we're ready. Whitney, we're ready. Wait, what? Oh, that's Skyla. But we're also ready with Whitney. Raihan, we're ready to have a scene with him. And Jasmine, Flannery, what does she need? Six charming and it needs to be at night. That makes sense given her personality. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Jasmine, Nessa's ready, so I could do her scene if I'm desperate. Uh, let's see. Need to be level two. Need to be level two. And seven courage. And need to be level two. Okay. Good to know. Now. Uh... Everybody's happy. Anyway. Uh, let's go to... I'll study with Dawn really quick. So I can get some fairy... 
Don studies dispassionately, but doesn't cause any problems because of it. Alright. Okay, let's see. My bug is almost 20, so I may as well finish that off. Maybe I can pass uh, the level 20 thing for Berg's class. Ethan, hiccup! Bugs Pokemon are inspiring, aren't they? I love bug Pokemon. I'm gonna paint a little bug on my, on my shirt. Yeah, that looks nice. Bug proficiency is 20. Cool. All right. Which is why six was decided as the optimal number of Pokemon for a trainer to carry at a time. And that's the end of the lecture. Have a, well, have a good weekend, everyone. Professor Oak seems to be unusually low spirits right now. Go after him. Hey Sam, what's biting you? Oh, I suppose my ill mood is visible, even to you. You mean especially to me, Sam. I know you better than any of your other students. Well, that's true enough. Well, it's a bit of an embarrassing confession to make, but I'm starting to wonder if I am somewhat lacking as a teacher. What? What do you mean? Well, ever since Tuesday, I've been looking over everyone's tests quite thoroughly, and... Well, there's no easy way to say this. Many of my students are doing quite poorly. I compared my results to those of the other homeroom instructors, and almost all of them exceed me on several key points. Oh, so... I wonder. It's true that you've done decently on most quizzes I've levied out at you so far, but I know what a brilliant mind you have. I cannot help but feel like your few failures may have been my fault. Well, if I'm entirely honest, I didn't quite understand what some of the th mechanics of the um, Pokemon's abilities were meant to do. So I kind of guessed, if I'm entirely honest. I don't know if I can say you're a good teacher or not, but you're my friend. So I'm a bit biased. Hmm. I may need to think on this a bit more. Perhaps Dr. Cherry can provide some insights. She has a way of teaching that, if her students' exam scores are any indication, should be something I should try to replicate. Heh, <laughs> look at you, trying to be all buddy-buddy with the teacher. Huh, teacher's pet. <laughs> I'm such a cool guy. What? About time he listened. I've been trying to tell him for weeks now, but he always just thought I was attacking him. Apple doesn't fall from the grand tree. I know what I meant to say. Don't judge me. <laughs> whatever. I'm still so cool. Blue walks off without a word. Blue can go suck a... I want to hang with Sabrina, even if she did ask me to give her time, because I've got a level 3 scene, apparently. So I'm going to go hang with her. You want to find Sabrina? Yes, I do! You're walking across campus when you suddenly feel a strange, get, get a strange feeling. Somewhat like static in the back of your mind. Oh man, am I about to have a stroke? I'm way too young for that. It's not a stroke. Sabrina? Where are you? I can barely hear you. Take me off speakerphone! I wish to... I thought that... N never mind, this was a foolish idea. I sh shouldn't have reached out. Are you sure? You wait for a bit, but hear no response. All right. You carry on doing your best to avoid thinking about Sabrina, in case that made your mind louder. I don't exa know exactly if this will work, but hopefully she appreciates it. I do. Okay, Sabrina, you're giving me some mixed signals here. If you want me to stay away, I will. I mean... I didn't the first time, but I will now. If you want me to reach out, I'll do that even more happily, though. But I'm going to need you to pick a lane. 
I mean, you can see how it's a bit unfair to tell me to stay away then pop into my head whenever you want to say something, right? Like, I get you can't help but read my thoughts, but these long-range connections are a voluntary thing, right? This is not a long-range connection. <laughs> oh, but then that must mean... You see a flash of steel blue hair around the corner of the academy building. Oh, hey! Hello. You look good. I cannot begin to describe how tiresome and overplayed such a compliment is to me. Well, gee, thanks. I'll just keep it to myself next time. Great, that's... that's fantastic. Love it! I wished to talk to you. We're talking. I think maybe I was a bit harsh before when I told you to stay away. You were only trying to help me. And then I yelled at you for rescuing me. Yelled instead of thanking you. That was wrong of me. High stress situation. I get it. I want to say thank you properly. Whoa. Ho. Oh. Oh. I'm saving that one right there. Okay. Oh my gosh, I was not prepared for that. Okay, give me a sec. <clears throat> Thank you, Hiccup. Oh, well, now you've just gone and gotten me all embarrassed. <laughs> uh, nothing really. I, 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 anyone would have done it, I'm sure. So, are we still friends? I realized that we only became friends because I uh, ignored your request. Command. You're not Janine. I don't really feel like a command coming from you. It doesn't really feel like a command coming from you. Hmm. Anyway, I ignored your request to stay away. And correct me if I'm wrong, you didn't seem to hate it. Right, not hearing a correction. Moving on then. Wait, I don't... I don't want to have to make a decision. Okay. Not right now. Please, just give me some more time to understand how I feel. Okay, fair enough. Well, how do you feel? I mean, what happened with those two ace trainers and all? A symptom of a larger threat. They were merely the hand that acted on society's behalf. What? It's not the first time I've heard thoughts about how people might seek to use me. I paid them no heed. Surely their cruel thoughts were just idle fantasies, as so many others had been. Perhaps if I had read their thoughts more deeply, I would have seen the full extent of their malignance. Perhaps I should have embraced my nature as a witch much sooner. Well, you certainly got back at them. What I did was petty and underhanded. It is beneath me. I should have... Well, I cannot deny it was satisfying in the moment, but the... Momentary pleasures of others have plagued my mind for too long. I seek not to stoop to their level. Don't be so hard on yourself. Perhaps it's a remnant of my upbringing. Hmm? In the Esper village where I was born, we were taught to be caretakers for the rest of humanity. Caretakers? What, like euthamics or sheep or and your shepherds? Quite like that, actually. Of course, these infantile philosophies that propped us up as saviors and 
guiders of the common man are nothing I subscribe to anymore. Though besides the arrogance it might instill in its adherents, it was none harmful belief. It was a non-harmful belief. Its core tenet was that we must never use our blessings against the Euthymix. So how did that work out with your, well, your inability to turn it off? About as well as you could imagine. Is it, uh, is it wrong of me to ask what your relationship with your partners is like? I do not know of them. What? What? I was deposited on the doorstep of an orphanage in Saffron City. My powers were discovered when a spoon I carelessly tossed bent. I do not remember my time at the orphanage. Emissaries of an Esper village on Mount Silver claimed me and brought me back. I lived in that village until I was removed. Removed? I would leave the village and stay in Kyoto once in a while. Try to to try and acclimatize myself to the people around me. During these trips, I found myself some friends of a fouler bent. The Esper village taught me restraint to conceal. My new friends allowed me to use my powers as I wanted. They encouraged me to see them as a tool, not as a burden. We were free, free of society's restraints and rules. I found myself gravitating towards those who were shunned by society as I. Misfits and outcasts, criminals even. They saw me as a good luck charm or a mascot of the company, perhaps. They knew of my powers, but did not fear them. They sought to use them as I did. But then one day we received orders to march on Saffron City, the place of my birth, I had assumed. I did not wish to leave Johto, I did not wish to permanently leave the village, so I refused. None of my f new friends came back. Perhaps that's why I did not go with them, but I had not the strength to tell them to stay. We were not a group that allowed ourselves to be told anything. Whoa, hang on, hang on. Is this... These friends of yours... Is this a reference to how you were a part of Team Rocket in the manga? Because if that is the case, that is brilliant. I love that as a reference. And the village elder received a letter the day after my 18th birthday. He informed me as to its contents. I had been found out. One of my friends from the city had dropped my name. The Kanto and Johto police force were now aware of a powerful, unregistered Esper who was working alongside a group that had had attempted something dreadful in Saffron. It was only the delicate political situation regarding jurisdiction over Mount Silver that prevented the authorities from marching up the mountain to claim me. The Elder then knew what I had done. How I had used my powers, he knew that I was not the victim of my telepathy, but that I reveled in the power it gave me over others. Is that true? Did you really feel that way? I find much comfort in your inability to pluck the answer from my mind, as I would certainly have done to you. I fled. I fled instantly, giving no thought to my village, nor to the home I might have had in Saffron. I ended up as far away from the Indigo League as I could. I ended up in Kobukan, and I continued as I had, sneaking, stealing, cheating, and scamming until... Until Instructor Will. Until Instructor Will. My village had taught me that my powers were a burden, that they were the instrument of ascendancy for the lesser peoples around me. My friends from the city taught me that my powers were a weapon, that they need... They enabled me to take what I wanted from whoever I wanted, even from their minds. But Instructor Will used his to entertain. When I felt the psychic hum of another esper at the blackjack table, I was certain that I'd been found out and I would finally go to prison. Perhaps that is where I, would, I could finally be at home. Well now, seems like you've had quite a lucky streak, miss. How about a drink? On the house, of course. Oh, but I will need to see some ID. 
just a routine, of course. I can't imagine what skincare routine you use to keep yourself looking so young and fresh, but I am jealous. It was a ridiculous show, but he got me out of that room without any of the other angry patrons ever guessing. I retained my freedom for one more day. I returned to my apartment, baffled by his generosity. I heard some of my old friends had a hideout somewhere in Innsbruck. I was on my way to find them when Instructor Will tracked me down. A hideout in Innsbruck? Why is this ringing a bell? Yep, it's a reference to Silver's Gang of Rocket People! Your understanding of Silver has increased. I knew it! You said Instructor Will tracked you down? I was, am, unaccustomed to people able to get the drop on me. A strange man at night who I didn't hear coming. I'm sure you can imagine my fear. I had nothing to fear, though. He asked me if I had a place to stay for the night. I responded I did, and he gave me a phone number to call if I ever wanted more out of life. The next day, I called it. And the day after, I had a job at the casino. It turns out that they will hire espers pretty much on site. I wasn't even old enough to gamble there, but I was old enough to work. So they taught me how to shuffle a deck of cards, and, well, that was that. It was a fun job, though I hesitate to call listening to chorus of rap rapacious crows and cries of financial despair fun, but it was fun. I suppose I've no room to judge. My avarice was comparable, and mine was for no greater reason than I didn't want to feel constrained. You quit the job, though. I did, when I left the school after. Well, you know. I did it on the spur of the moment. But Instructor Will doesn't work there anymore, and I must confess, I find it a lot less fun when I'm not aside him. I think I will remain gone, though... They, Though I'm certain they'd hire me back. I should look for something else, though. A new job. I have enough from my previous work and other sources to pay my way through the first semester of KobuCon, but I still need a job to pay through the second. Need help on the job hunt? It's actually quite easy to find a job for someone with my skill set. Must be nice. Aside from all the parts that aren't, I mean. Yes. I have now revealed myself to you. I... Um, perverted man. That was entirely on you. My mind was chased and dry as a monk's wine cellar before you said that. Enough of that. I've revealed the truth of myself. If it were you who had exposed my secrets instead of the other way around, this is what you would know. I have no right now to ask you to keep this secret, but as penance, I place my faith in your hands. What? Sabrina, what are you saying? I'm saying that the guilt I've felt for the part I played in the events of the 1st of May have torn me apart ever since. I can no longer bear to carry that guilt without giving you something to pierce me with just as deeply as I pierced you. Okay, now I know you're doing it on purpose. Can I not use theatrical language without, without everything I say being interpreted in the horniest possible context? If it's any consolation, I'd give all of my friends a hard time about that kind of boneheaded word choice. Friends? Yeah, you took too long to decide what we are, so I figured I'd go ahead and pull the trigger on that. I mean, come on. Both of us were dragged in front of the entire school and had everyone say that we got crazy mind powers. We're power buddies, you know? Power buddies. A ridiculous notion. Our powers can only serve to divide us. I think that's a self-fulfilling prophecy, but you're the one who can see the future, so what do I know? You do know more than you let on. It is foolish of me to continually underestimate you. Every time we talk, I'm caught off guard by your flashes of insight, seemingly without thinking about them. What is this all in service of? Come on, you don't need to be a mind reader to know that. It's the only thing I've ever wanted besides to be a Pokemon champion. 
I want to be your friend, Sabrina. For real this time. No take backsies, no backing out, no oaths of friendship that everyone revokes after we disappear into a forest for a week. It seems unlikely that'll happen again. Just covering all my bases. All right, friends. We're friends again, then. For all the misery it will bring us. Sabrina, if there's one thing that incredibly distressing story you just told me convinced me of, in addition to that student council stuff, it's this. The worst thing that could happen to you has already happened. It can only go uphill from here. Your heart shifts as you feel your relationship with Sabrina evolve from question mark to friend again. Hanging out with Sabrina will now convey an amount of XP to Psychic and Ghost. This amount will grow the more points you have. Shockjaw started coughing something. Something's out. Your bond with May earned you the Larvesta Everall, Heracross, and Burmy Everall. Your bond with Silver earned you the Abyssal, Zubat, and Grimer Diverall. Your bond with Blue earned you the Bagon Everall, Cramorant, and Eevee. Yellow is overjoyed. I'm still not entirely sure why Yellow is happy about it, but I don't know how I got that with everybody. Like, where, where is this all coming from? Okay, sure. Uh, yeah. Hang on a sec. I'm going to... Where... Ah, there you are. I would like to give it to Larvesta. Yes, please. Thank you. Hang on. What does... Does it do? Let's take a quick look. Our Vesta Everall. Based at scale to a Volcarino at level 59. When used on the appropriate Pokemon, teaches Flame Charge and Bug Bite. Okay, I'm going to use that to get rid of Ember. I would like to use it on Larvesta. Teach it Flame Charge instead of Ember. And you know what? I'm going to use it again for Bug Bite because I don't think that Absorb is very effective since it is a grass type move. So, change that out. Do, do, do. What else have I got? Ah, da, 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 da. Cause I got stuff for blue and silver, which should be all of these. I think I'm good for now. Anyway, you know what to do. It's been one, seek, one week since the biggest mistake this battle team has ever suffered. I'm sorry, this was not your mistake, but you're going to have to work harder to make up for it. I know you can, though. It's not that I believe in you, I just know you can all get through this. The quarter clashes were a setback, but not a stop. Except for Dawn. Except for Dawn. Is she even here? Now, I got a tip through very legitimate means that the next quarter clashes are going to be squad battles. That means that the next quarter clashes are going to be team based. We'll discuss how we'll decide teams later, but for now, I want everyone to be ready to battle alongside anyone else. Team based? How does that work? Does that mean that multiple people will be eliminated in each round? Yes, I don't know how big the teams will be yet, but you should expect team sizes of anything from 3 to 5. I don't like working on a team. Even though I have like five different Robins. Kinda a dumbass move joining something called the Battle Team then. <laughs> Shut up, you don't know me. Speaking of bad moves, Erica, did you apologize to Hiccup like I told you to? Ah, uh, 
I fully intended to pol apologize to him regardless of your command. But did you? Yes, of course. Okay, and did you accept the apology hiccup? I said I'd give her time to think on it. Right, time's up. Answer now. For that lame excuse and I'm being forced to choose one or the other? No. Hmm. I'm disappointed. She was misled, Hiccup. This is obvious. Don't hold it against her. Or, if you do, don't let it affect the team. Right. Sorry. Moving on, or back to what I was talking about before. Squad battles are a team-focused battle format. You have less control over your Pokémon, but can defeat large swaths of opponents at a time. Strength is ever more paramount, given the lesser role strategy plays. Type advantages are as integral as ever, if not more so. They were invented in Paldea by a group of students from Naranjuva Academy, if you can believe that. Just students like you. Shows that it's never too early to change the world. This battle format became very popular as an alternative team-based format to double or triple battles. It allows every team member to shine in their individual niches. Why did I say it like that? Anyway, it also disallows the ever so popular team killing prank that plagues the lower levels of competitive battling. Yeah, it's funny, but that's not the kind of funny we're going for. Funny. I'm not certain that's the correct term. I'm certainly not laughing. When was the last time you laughed at anything, Lance? A ridiculous question. It was... The... Uh, well... The... The... For today's meeting, I've brought in a guest speaker. She's the leader of the Calf Star Training Center in Paldea, and she's one of the actual creators of the squad battle format. There's no one more qualified to teach us how to excel in squad battles than her. Miss Airy. Where is she? I am not even going to try to say that. Yeah, um, could you in English, please? Oh, up, uh, Japanese, right. Ahem. <clears throat> Pardon, my Japanese is not good. Forgive the disgrace language. You're still better than some of the guys in the team last year. Oh, Miss Janine, I speak Paldean. Should I translate? Ah, uh, no, no. I learned to speak better through practice. What I speak now, I learn from Pocket Dictionary on Flight Over. Practice is fundamentalist. Dude, where is this luchador in our class? Why is there a luchador in our class? I'm pretty sure she's a Joshi wrestler, actually. I don't know what that is. What? How do you... It's completely random whether you know something or not. You know that? The library in Palatown had, like three DVDs for rent, and one of them was someone's taped recordings of an old Joshi League. Hey, you two. Eyes and ears. Sorry. I am Ari of the CAF group, Paldea. We invent squad battles. We are very brilliant at them. Now I have the opportunity to teach you. Training intense. Teamwork. Non-negotiable. Is... Non-negotiable? Has... Is that right? C. Si, eso es correcto. You also speak Paldean, Professor Lance? I suppose you thought I obtained my Terra Orb in Kanto. A foolish question. He speaks enough to get by, but seriously, you don't know how much Aerie is costing the school right now. Let her speak, please. Sorry. Importance of team skills in squad battle cannot be overstate. Strong alone. Good at single. Double? Three? Battle? Does not matter. Alone, ape weak. Together, ape strong. Ari walks closer to the group and pulls out a large square map with various buildings and terrain features on it. The map is crisscrossed with grid pattern. The grid seems extremely familiar to you. You look over at Blue and his eyes are wide. He's clearly had the same realization. 
You quickly have a conversation delivered through eyebrow waggles confirming what you're both thinking. Which is... Suddenly Blue starts to chuckle. <laughs> Blue? This is just Inferno and Logos. You, you know I and F game. Of course, I'm amazing at it. Bueno, this makes things easier. Are all familiar with this then? Raise hands. Blue smugly puts his hand up, looking at everyone else. Only your roommates seem to know anything about Inferno and Logos, or are the only ones willing to admit it, at least. Well, it's not like anyone's going to beat me up for being a nerd. You raise your hand, too. Hmm. Hiccup, you know this game, too? Only very recently, but yeah, I get kind of the idea of how it works. Yeah, I just spent two hours trying to figure it out in a flippin' forest. <sighs> well, look at that. You've learned a new trick without me even training you. I'll reward you for that. Bro, bro! Oh, hell yeah. Huh, <laughs> see? What did I say? I told you this was a serious war game. Now you're gonna get some hiccup. Oh, war! No, no. Great leader Cassiopeia creates squad battle. Using this for inspiration. But game does not help in squad battles. We play because you see, they are a big nerd. Oh. Wow, I never seen him deflate so quickly. I explain concept, rules. Then I assist to the training. I pleasure to meet at all. Look forward to teaching you further. You listen along with your classmates as Harry explains how squad battles work. I'll get us some time next week to do some actual squad battle training. This might be f before Friday, so keep an ear out. I want to take a look at my socials here. Janine is almost level 3. Wow. Cool. I've got a lot of level 3s now that I'm looking at it. Level 4 with Gardenia too. Jeez. <clears throat> also, we'll probably need to go somewhere with more room to maneuver. Maybe the forest. The forest has been reclosed to the student body. Seriously? Didn't Dean Drayden just reopen it? Whatever, I'll figure it out later. All understanding! The team nods more or less forcefully. Thanks, Harry. She's going to be around campus for the rest of the year taking classes too, so if you see her, be nice to her. Harry, would you like to participate in the battle team's training tonight? Oh, very honored! But I think it's best if I watching, at least for now. Would not know to force my way into team, yes? Would not want to. I get ya. Lance and Janine split up and begin tutoring the other battle team members' Pokemon. You look around for someone to train with and... Uh... Why is this song a bop? Hang on a sec. Eric is not on this list anymore. Hmm. Oh well. Probably just means my points are too low, maybe? Um, who do I want to train with? I'll train with that dude. Uh, Sonia. Right, -o. I don't remember a few techniques Janine taught us at the end of last year, if you wouldn't overly mind skipping ahead a bit. Lay it on me. You train with, while waiting for Lance to make room for you, you notice he, once again, goes out of his way to teach the rest of the battle team first. Level 20. Wants to learn takedown. Let's see, what's it do? Normal move. User receives recoil damage, 85% accuracy, and 90% power. Uh, nah, I can be fine without it, I think. Bodica did not learn takedown. Yuri gained experience, level 20. Yuri wants to learn Leech Seed. Um... Do I want it? 
No, not really, because... Well, it's pretty lame. I'll wait for, like, Giga Drain. Mozart, level 20. Shockjaw, level 20. Tarantulas, level 14. Level 15, level 16. Heck yeah. Hey, douchebag. What you doing here? You gonna teach me? You gonna stare? You Vegeta looking trucker. Da, 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 da. So I guess I'm talking first. This was not a moral victory. Oh great, that's where we're going with this. My claim was that you hindered yourself by using an objectively inferior member of an inferior species. Asshole. It is obvious you did not know your Pikachu's power until it became apparent. Therefore, you had no idea you were not doing the very thing I accused you of. Ego, this ridiculous ploy at power you and your Pikachu have put on wins nothing but a single meaningless battle. If that helps you sleep at night, sure, why not? That only works if you believe that I accept your premise that there is an extant way of ranking the superiority of or inferiority of a Pokemon. I don't think there is. Sure, there's some objective measurement out there, but I don't think we're ever going to know it. You would claim to have a better understanding of a Pokemon's limits and abilities than the greatest trainers and scientists? Nah, but I think I've got at least an equal understanding. Because I know one of the greatest scientists in the world, Professor Oak, and he's told me he's pretty much as clueless about this as I am. And you're one of the greatest trainers in the world, and I'm pretty sure you have no idea what happened either. Correct me if I'm wrong. The scale of correction acquired here is not one that I am capable of providing single-handedly. I don't want you to I don't want to hear you badmouth Shockjaw anymore. Now he's got a special power. He beat a mega evolved champion level dragon. He's undeniably strong. I have less interest in what you want than I do in further debating your rudimentary and naive philosophy. What I say or do will be at my own whim as ever. Whatever, douche. Enough of this drivel. Make use of my services or free me of your presence. Yeah, let's take a look at Shockjaw. I am unable to teach this creature. I cannot begin to determine what skills it might have possessed in the past. Well then, are you certain? Yeah, I'm certain. Very well. You seem more pissed than usual. Can't imagine why. All right, everyone head back to your dorms. You know the rule, go straight back. Dean Drayden is on edge and we don't want to be responsible for any more crises. It was very fun to meet all. Look forward to more meetings as I teach all about squad battles. You head back to your dorm. You're getting ready for bed when suddenly you hear a sound, somewhat like static, in the back of your mind. Hello? 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 Sabrina? Is that you? Are there other espers who habitually talk directly into your mind? No, not really. Good to hear from you again. Are you doing all right? No. Damn, is there anything I can do to help? I don't. I don't think so. I'm not sure. It's the way people look at me. It's... I've always heard their thoughts, but this is... This is more than fear. Their fear is now founded. I don't know if I can bear that. You know it's not your fault. For all the good it does me. I'm sorry, I didn't come here just to saddle you with my feelings. I I actually wanted to say thank you. Oh, for the rescue? That's no problem. I was... Not that. Did you interrupt my thoughts? How the hell... I wanted to thank you for the advice you gave Rosa. You told her that if she had a friend who was in need of a companion, then... Oh, right. She did ask me about that. Well, what did she give you? 
her Pikachu. I'm sorry, what? Hey, would you quit yelling through the walls? Some of us are trying to sleep. Is irony are really a dead rat? What? Man, all art is dead. Guys, I'm on the mind phone. Try to keep it down. I'm not smart enough to handle multiple conversations across different realms at once. Her Pikachu? Isn't that her, like, signature Pokemon? Only in this school. Otherwise, she's most often known as Riola Girl. Is that... Is that... Kobukan Palf's version of Squirrel Girl? I, I'm playing this game and every now and then I can't help but think to myself I've somehow influenced this with my fan art. She said she'd been losing too many of her fights because none of her classes lined up with the Pokemon her agency would allow her to use, so she's switching classes. She's dropping Psychic and Electric and picking up Poison and Fire. She has a Ghastly, a Charmander, and a Toxic. Her Eevee can become a Flareon. Seems like you talked about this pretty in depth. Getting along well with her? Y yes, Rosa, Nessa, and Sonia, they're very kind. Very understanding. Raihan is also there. He's funny, but he has taken his shirt off three times already. Man, if I looked like that, I would too. Please stop imagining him shirtless. When I connect directly to your mind like this, I see everything you're imagining, even more clearly than normal. That? That just made it worse. Yeah. You've got some good friends. That seems particularly self-serving. But I suppose you're not wrong. Thank you. Good night. Hey, bud. Mind hitting the lights? Thanks, buddy. I should text somebody before I head to bed. Hey, ya partner. Huh, Gardenia? How'd you get this number? Oh, I paid Nate to tell me. I really need to talk with Nate about how callous he is about other people's personal information. Yeah, it's pretty awful of him. Anyway, a little birdie told me that you recently acquired a certain item in the Great Wild. And that the set of, oh, um, business opportunity set off. And that my, and that set off my, ooh, business opportunity sense. Is this about investing in the city stores? No, but I appreciate your support in that regard. I've got some independent merchants in the city who sell official Pokemon League items under the table. Nothing wrong with them, they just don't pass inspection or fall off trucks or surplus goods or whatever. Uh, anyway, those guys have been looking to expand their product lines to some less mass product items. The kind we can get in the wild pretty easily. So you want me to find more of these items in dangerous places outside the school and sell them to you, so you can resell them to some shady black market people. Pretty much yup. Do you have any money making plans that aren't some flavor of illegal? Uh, yeah, my gym classes, but you aren't signing up for them. Fair enough. So, I obviously want you to sell this stuff to me, but in the interest of fair play, I should probably tell you what else you can do with them. Just like, give them to my Pokemon in battle, right? That's one thing, but don't forget you can gift them to people as well. Huh. Giving people gifts to make them like you. Classic, it never fails. Oh, but don't give anyone more than one item a week. That'll just seem desperate, and people can smell desperation. Noted. So if I wanted to sell items, I should meet up with you in the baseball field, right? That's right. Same place you do, you'd go to make investments. And what about if I wanted to give these items as gifts? Just find whoever you're trying to give the gift to during your free time and hand it off quick and easy. Doesn't even take any time. Cool, thanks for the uh, business advice. Yeah, I'll be sending you my consultant's fee in the morning. Ta-ta! I really hope she's joking. Cool, I got contact info. Alright. 
And with that, I think now is a good time to save and to catch up on the rest of the week at a later date. So, thank you all so much for watching. I've been really enjoying this. Um, I will talk with you all later in the next video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that the algorithm can do its thing and so that my videos show up more often for you guys. Talk with you all next time. And that, as they say, is that.